What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, bro. You guys already know I'm kind of late to this, at least like a couple of days. I do apologize. But as you guys know, on this channel, we talk so much about, you know, emulators, how to install different emulators on your iOS devices, sometimes Android devices as well. But there's always been a common problem of basically the apps becoming untrusted and then pretty much losing all of your data, all of your, you know, save states, everything within those emulators. But now there's actually a new way on how to bypass that in a way. It does take a quite a Bit, not a cool lot of setup but you will need a computer for this so it's a little bit more work in the front end like in the beginning with but then the payoff is is that you probably won't have to be you know going through losing all of your data within your emulators and your apps and your games all the time so these apps will sign by themselves without jailbreaks without anything which is very very cool so you can do this on a windows machine or a mac machine on my specific tutorial that i'm showing you now it is a mac os device so if you have a windows one you can watch a different one but the setup is almost the same i think you want to make sure though that your iphone is obviously plugged into your computer that's the first thing you want to do make sure it's synced with itunes whatever you want to it doesn't really matter but just make sure it's plugged into your computer then what you want to do you want to go to this website called altstore.io all these links that I'm going to be talking about are going to be down in the description below so you guys can go and get them from there. So once you're on that link, you can see right here, all you want to do is just click on Mac OS or, you know, Windows if you're on there, but I'm on a Mac OS specific device. So you can go and watch. This is just kind of honestly, this part right here is actually kind of like satisfying to me to keep watching that. I don't know why. So once that's downloaded, all you want to do is go ahead and just open it. And as you can see, it's going to extract or whatever. And then you can go ahead and you can drag it into applications if you want to, which I'll probably go ahead and do it. And then you can go ahead and open it within the applications wherever it landed at. Okay, there we go. It was on the other thing. And then you can go in and you're going to have this pop up. Just click open. And then as you can see, the alt server is running. But you might be wondering, like, how the heck am I going to do anything? Like, what am I doing? Like, how do I? What you want to do? Okay, stop asking questions. You want to click that top thing right there. You want to click install alt store. And then you will see your phone that you plugged in earlier. You remember I told you to plug into your phone, into your computer. Remember that? All right. I hope you did that. So you want to go ahead and just click that. You'll see a little thing called, you know, and enter your Apple ID and password or whatever. Now, some people might say this is so super unsafe or whatever, but I've done this plenty of times and it hasn't been an issue with me. But if you do have an issue with this, what you can do is instead of putting in your actual password, your Apple ID has to stay the same consistent throughout the board. But what you can do actually is go to this website right here, appleid.apple.com, just that part. And you can go ahead and actually go through and create an app specific password right here. Once you log into your information, and everything, you can generate a new password. So you can go through that. If you don't want to type in your actual password, you can just type in an app specific password that will work on here. So you want to copy it, you want to jot it down or whatever, but you want to still use your actual Apple ID. So it's this one right here, for at least for me. And then that app specific password that we talked about earlier, you can go ahead and put that in, you know, the one that you generated right here. You can go ahead and click install and it should start installing. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my iPhone. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll probably just end up screen recording it because I forgot to put in the, I forgot to connect my camera. Okay, so now I'm on my iPhone. I don't know what the background is going to be. Probably the same thing, maybe something weird. But we're going to go ahead and go, as you see on the second page, you can see that alt store thing. But as you can see, once we click it, we get that untrusted developer. So what you want to do is you want to go into settings. You want to go back, back. You want to be on the main screen. You want to click on general. You want to scroll down to device management. And you'll see your email right there. Just click that and then click that trust. And then once it's trusted, you'll be set. All you want to do is go ahead and open alt store, as you can see. You want to click allow or don't allow, it doesn't matter. And then once you're here, you can actually start getting into some downloading some things. But as you can see, some of them, you know, right now they only have Delta. One thing I don't like about this specific developer is that in order for you to actually go and download more things other than Delta, you have to go and become a Patreon, which I understand we have to support our developers. Like I'm, I'm totally with that, but I think it should have been like an optional thing, but whatever. But as you can see, once you try to download something, you're going to have to type in your Apple ID and your password again. So make sure it is the same Apple ID and the same password as before. Okay. So don't keep them different. You want to keep them to be exactly the same. That's super, super important. And once you type it in, you can see how it works. Launch alt server, connect to Wi-Fi, browse and download apps directly from alt store apps refresh automatically. So once you type in your info, you are set. You most likely won't be getting any more refocus as long as your alt server is running on your machine. That's connected to the same Wi-Fi as this one is. So go ahead and click got it. And you can see we're downloading Delta right now. Again, if your information is the same across the board, you shouldn't be getting into any issues. That's where I've seen a lot of people kind of getting it. And as you can see, you click on my apps, you can go ahead and see it expires in like seven days. You can go ahead, I think, go ahead and click refresh all and it'll automatically refresh them. So you can refresh them here. You can refresh them on your phone or whatever the case is. And now you can see we have Delta. 
You can go ahead and open it. We don't even have to sign it again or untrust it in the developer settings. And as you can see, we have this full on emulator yet again, you know, so it's the same things as before. Delta has a lot of different emulators you can play within it. I believe it is Game Boy Advance and NES and I think Nintendo 64 as well, but that's pretty much it. Again, the biggest advantage of this is that you are able to play those games without having to go through and lose all of your data every time there's an untrusted developer. So every time Apple goes and like unsigns that developer, you will still be able to keep your data because it's running on your own server. So that is super, super cool. If you guys have any questions or you run into any issues, again, leave them down in the comment section below. If I don't answer them, most probably someone else will. And again, all those links will be down in the description. So make sure you guys check those out if you have any issues. But this is huge news. I'm probably going to go ahead and redo all my past emulator videos so then I can kind of update them for this one. So there will be updated Game Boy Advance, PS1 emulators, all those videos on how to install those on iOS 13 coming very, very soon. So this is super dope because we don't have to be on, you know, a jailbroken device because, because in my opinion, one of the biggest reasons to jailbreak was to sign your apps by yourself, you know, with rep provision. I think that was the app or that tweak, like you were able to go and sign your apps by yourself, which is crazy. But, but now we can do that without even having to jailbreak. So that is really, really cool. So if you guys have any questions or any issues or anything, like I said, leave them down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.